Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here to unbox some bookish mail with you. So these bookish mail videos have been super fun to do. I've done two already earlier this fall, which I can link in the description of this video as well, which you can go back and check it out. I love to just like unbox items. And also I like to watch other people's videos when they're unboxing like book mail they got or bookish items they're buying. Just like I'm super nosy and like knowing what people are buying, what they're getting, what's out there like for me to go buy myself, you know, as well. These are going to be mostly like book adjacent items, like bookish items that aren't always books. I do have two book boxes to open as well that I've sent like from PR companies or one that I purchased myself as well and the rest of them are just going to be like bookish items like swag tees sweatshirts I have some items for like my kindle they're also just like really great gift ideas so whether you are going to treat yourself this holiday season or you're purchasing for friends or family things like that of people who you know love books in your life and you don't want to like buy them a book then you can have these like bookish items that maybe you know incorporate their favorite fandom that are like cute accessories they're going to use for their kindle just like all of those things you know to like wear to use all of that so let's hop into it okay, so we're going to kick off the video with something that i was actually sent so this was from glocusin they sent me this innovative trihead book light so they sent it to me that i could then review it for you and share it so super thankful for them for sending it so thank you so much to glocusin for sending this to me i've actually purchased from this company in the past but when they reached out and asked if i wanted to collab slash unbox for them i was like yes please like i've already purchased from them in the past and i know that they are great items so first up let's get into it this is the innovative trihead book light as you can see it is fully adjustable here which I love I got mine in the color white this has a fun little clip with like a foam here so that's where you would put it like into your book onto the side of your desk like whatever you're going to clip it onto right All right, so here it is. I attached it to a book. So as you can see, it is a super lightweight and I love that it's adjustable, like I mentioned. And yeah, it just clips onto your book. Like I mentioned, it does have that foam. So it's not gonna like wreck or ruin your pages. You can set it there, open it to the page you want. So I love that this has the tri light because basically you can fold these down as you can see here. And then it gives you the full like light focus on your item, but you can pull these lights out if you want it kind of like a 90 degree angle or if you want it the full 180. I love that it will light up like the whole page, the whole thing. You could also put this like over your laptop at night like if you're typing at night and your keys don't light up like this is perfect for that as well which I will probably use for <laughs> this is a connected the book we turn it on up here at the top so as you can see all three will light up and this is what I was talking about like the focus lighting like if I wanted to just have all three aimed it down it would focus right on here but if I pull the lights out to their 180 setting it's obviously going to light up both sides of the pages I love that this has different settings as well so like if you like the more warm light it's going to have this if you like a cool light or if you like the white light, I personally like the white light, but that's just me. It also has five dimmer settings as well. So this is the lowest. So this is one, then we have two, three, four, and of course five, very nice and bright. I love that so much. I love the different settings. So like if you are reading in bed next to somebody, you're not gonna be bothering them with your light or if you need it super bright, I mean, it's gonna work for you as well. Also, I love that this is a rechargeable item as well. So it comes with the USB cord. You just plug this in to the back of the item and then you'd obviously plug this part into like a USB base that you already have. Plug that right into the wall, charge it up. Love that so much. I love a rechargeable item. So yeah, there is that. Like I mentioned, love the adjustable kind of gooseneck that it has and all of those settings as well. Definitely check them out. I'm so glad they sent this to me. I have a link in the description of my video for you to get yours as well. They do sell their items on Amazon. I will link them all below. This again is the innovative tri head light. They also have other items. Like I mentioned, I've purchased from them before in the past. I got them as stocking stuffers for my parents last year. So my parents both love to read at night in bed with their hardcovers, their paperbacks, things like that. So I got them the item. I'll show it here on the description, which it is kind of like the neck light that goes around your neck if that makes sense and then it just lights up your pages they are so good they use them all the time rechargeable as well love this company thank you so much glocusin for sending this to me and collabing with me on this video Next up, I got the Hello Lovely Box Trope of the Month box, which was the November one, which was the trope for Soulmates. So it was Broken Miles by Claire Kingsley. This is the first book in the Miles Brothers series, and this is so cute and so fun. I love the like psychedelic, fun, kind of groovy print. The Heroes Family in this one, it's a small town series. The Heroes Family owns a winery, so hence the like vineyard setting. Love the wine glass with the rings in there. 
in the back. This one is just so much fun. Love it so much. This is actually a second chance romance between the hero and his ex-girlfriend from high school. So he like went off to go do like finance things and is coming back to help out his family's business that's hurting. But he ends up coming back to a small town. His ex-girlfriend actually works with his family as well. And so it is their second chance as they work together to kind of save his family's winery. So the Trope of the Month box is nice because it always comes with just a special edition book. They are signed by the authors as well. And then it comes with one small swag items so like a sticker a bookmark and art print this time it came with a bookmark so this is the soulmate bookmark which is just so cute and fun i'm always down for a good bookmark so yeah there is that there is like a wait list for the trope of the month box which you can get on their website and get added to that it's so much fun just like a new trope every month i love that sometimes they're books i know and sometimes they're new to me books new to me authors i love like discovering new authors with tropes that i already love and are familiar with so yeah super fun of course i am a hello lovely box rep so you can always use my code to save on these as well so yeah definitely check it out all right and then i already opened my hello lovely box for the month too so i got two of their new wintry swag items i opened them up already off camera just because the bags can be like really loud so <laughs> let's go through them i have a sweatshirt hoodie and then a t-shirt is the t-shirt this is I love that they're doing like comfort colors right now because I live in comfort color tees they're so comfy and so soft so this is the I'm all booked up for winter tee love that print with the book stack basically has like some tropes on here so it says forced proximity small town grumpy sunshine why choose and forbidden love that so much they had it in a ton of colors and I think it's just really cute and fun for winter and the hoodie I got of course I got it in maroon that is one of my favorite colors maroon burgundies I love those colors so much so I'm always grabbing those so this one it says reading in a winter wonderland and I love the snowflakes and it's just so cute love the font on there as well just super simple and fun little hoodie again this comes in tons of colors as well I'm a hella lovely rep so you can use my code Christy reads a lot 15 to save 15% on any of your orders whether that's the trope of the month box these shirts and swags and all of those things so yeah check them out love them so much definitely a great company for bookish items and then I just got this in the mail so this is actually from Jillian Meadows the author she sent me a book so she sent me her give me butterflies book I cannot wait to read this one this one I've heard a lot of good things about I know a couple of friends who love this so this one's set at a museum their co-workers the heroine is a entomology curator for the museum and then the hero is her grumpy like co-worker it sounds like so much fun so thank you so much to the author for sending this to me came with an adorable little bookmark as well of the hero I'm assuming and she signed it which is so fun and so sweet so I cannot wait to check this one out I know it's on Kindle Unlimited as well so we love the little like hero peeking out here moment I love that moment so yeah I can't wait to check this one out I know her holiday romance wreck my plans comes out at the beginning of December can't wait to jump into that one I believe it's like a spin-off where you meet the characters in here so I'm gonna read this one first and then jump into that one so here is give me butterflies so next are these trope cards from Lila Junko I absolutely love her trope cards so so much she like designs them and does the art for them and then sends them out like I have a full stack of like all of her trope cards you get them from like book box companies too sometimes they've been including them for like PR boxes they are so fun and so cute. I love them, like using them for Instagram posts or I'm sure you've seen them if you follow me on Instagram, like my reels, when I do like trope recommendations on my TikTok, like all of those things. I love these so much. So these ones are both specific for books that recently came out. First up, this one was for Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. So we have the Windy City series, super cute little trope card. Then we have the Baseball Romance and Single Dad Romance, Nanny Romance. I love the tattoos on there as well for the heroine. And then the fact that she's the coach's daughter as well love it so much love the art on here these are just so much fun so I like to use them as like Instagram photo items as well I have like a whole mug over here on my bookshelf just full of them and I'll pull them out for book photos things like that like you can use them obviously for other trope recommendations as well which is what I do so yeah love these so much this was for like I said caught up by Liz Tom Ford this was for Candy Steiner's newest hockey romance which was what was it called watch your mouth I think so we have the hockey romance then we have Teammate's Little Sister, which I recently did a trope recommendation video for more with this trope. If you want to see that, check out my Instagram or TikTok. Just saying. We also have Road Trip Romance. I have some recs coming up for that one as well that I did a reel for. Then this one is specific for the book. So we have the Hot Springs scene. If you've read the book, you know. And then this one is the keychain scene. Again, if you read the book, you know. So I love how some of these are like specific to the books. And then some of these are kind of tropes you can use for anything. So love that so much. Again, Lila Junko. Love her items. She also does stickers. She does sweatshirts, t-shirts, mugs, all the like bookish items. I love her stuff so much. Definitely check her out on Etsy. Next up, these items are from BookBo. So these are the recent holiday ones. I pre-ordered some holiday items and they finally came in. So I can't wait to show these off. 
So I love their book sleeves for my Kindle. Let me get it out of the plastic. So here it is. It is so adorable and so cute. Love this like cute holiday print as well. So I love that these are like neoprene. So if they get wet, you can wipe them off. They're not going to hurt whatever's inside. Obviously, I'm not going to like dunk it in the water, but you know what I mean? Like if you spill a drink or something like that, these are so cute. I love that they're zippered as well. Like I said, I use this for my Kindle paper white size. This is the BB size, I believe. So yeah, it's zippered. It has like neoprene print. Again, that super cute holiday print. I cannot wait to use this all season for my Kindle. For my paper white, it'll be protected and adorable and festive as well okay so next up these two are for their book bow reading pillows which i have right here i have my fall prints on them so now i have holiday prints which i will show one of these matches my kindle print that i just showed you my kindle sleeve so here is that so cute i love the like minky fleece and then this is the other one i just love all the like wintry items the ice skates the gingerbread house the sweater the lights so cute all the like cookies as well adorable so i will show you how these work i showed these in recent videos so these are the two reading pillows that i have my daughter has one i have one and so we use them all the time like you can set your book on here when you're reading you can set she uses it for like when she's playing her nintendo switch so like you can set with your wrists on here if that makes sense when you're playing something you can have a book stacked up against here i use it all the time like i put my dinner plate on there if i'm eating dinner on the couch like all the things it's used so much in our house so we love these these are the fall prints that they did i love that you can just purchase these by themselves the fabrics when they come out with new ones you don't have to get a reading pillow every time so yeah i love that these have zippers they have like the little hidden area for your zipper as well you unzip it you pull out the pillow insert if i can get it out here and then you just take this off so you can wash these and then you put these ones on all right so there those are now with the two new holiday prints love that so much like i said you can take them off unzip them wash them all of those things and they're just super cute and fun and festive and again that is from bookbo all right so next up i just purchased this for myself and it just came in today so this is from amazon i got the gooseneck like kindle holder tablet holder and then the clicker for your kindle as well like i've been seeing people talk about this all year and i finally broke down and got myself one for myself for the holidays had to treat myself so let's check it out so this is how the gooseneck tablet holder comes in the box let's check it out right, here we go this thing is very bendy like a wild snake over here so let's kind of get that down over here. So basically this part is going to hold my Kindle. It can hold an iPad or something like that and keep it steady in there. It is adjustable as well, like I just showed. And then this side is going to clamp on to like the side of a bedside table, a table, whatever you're going to connect this to. It will attach there. So I wanted something that could hold up my Kindle for when I'm reading like in bed at night or when I'm on the couch, something like that, where I don't have to hold my Kindle all the time. Like I'm not into pop sockets. I don't like how they look. And then I always am holding my Kindle with my phone or setting it somewhere. So I thought this would be a good way to just kind of hold it up and you can put it like near you, things like that. My left wrist actually gets hurt a lot from like constantly holding my phone and making content. That's what I make everything on my Instagram graphics, my my reels my videos my youtube videos is recording on my phone right now so when i edit them i edit on my phone as well so i'm constantly holding things here and i get like really bad carpal tunnel in my left wrist kind of hurts right now because i've been making a lot of like holiday graphics for instagram this week so i thought this would be a great way to kind of hold it up my kindle for me for when i want to read so love that so much and then i paired it with the reading clicker as well again i will link all of these items in the description of the video so you can check it out as well whether for yourself or like perfect gift items for people who read on their kindle a lot just saying so yeah this is perfect for if you're laying in bed and you don't have to like swipe the pages or hold it up or anything like that and kind of have it set away from you i love this like i've been wanting to get one all year and i finally just broke down and got it so this is it one side connects to your kindle and then the other side like you could hold the clicker so you could have your arms like under the blankets getting all cozy you don't have to like reach out and turn your kindle page <laughs> this clicker will work for you i've heard great things about this and i cannot wait kind of reminds me of like my garage door opener so this part would connect to my Kindle connected on there on the side and this part is like the clicker that I would hold to turn the page I know this is great for people who either don't want to or can't physically hold up a Kindle and you can turn the pages like that so I've heard great things and I am so excited to check this out let me know if you have one or if you're thinking of getting one if you love them let me know all the things <laughs> then next up I got this amazing PR package for after the storm by Laura Pavlov this is one of my favorite books of the entire year loved it so much small town single dad romance second chance romance like if you love those tropes this is the epitome of all of those tropes in a book i cried i swooned i laughed cried some more i loved this book so much it was everything i read an arc of it and i was so excited to get this pr box from the author and her pr company so let's open it up together so this is again the fifth book the last book in the cottonwood cove series love the like quotes on the box as well i just noticed that on both sides it's so fun let's open it up up we have this quote as well from the book love this and it's so cute 
So first up, we have this really cute floral magnet. It says, thank you for your support. It means the world to me. XO Laura. Super cute. Kind of like a little boutonniere. It kind of reminds me of with like a little magnet on the back. That's adorable. Some hot tamales, which I mentioned in the story. We also have some customized, these are adorable M&Ms. So they say things like After the Storm, Cajun Presley, Gracie Girl, which is his daughter. This is so cute. I love the, like customizing that they match kind of the cover of the book. We have the adorable little pig. This is so cute. It'll actually squeak. So if you have a pet, a warning, it's about to squeak. Like so cute. I love this little squeaky pig. So if you read the story, you know why there's a pig. There is a pig in the book. So yeah, that's so cute. We have a beautiful customized Stella Candle Co., which you know I love their candles so much. So this is specific for After the Storm. It comes in this white case. It smells so good. So the scents are hot tamales, cocoa, amber, and coconut. So beautiful. Love that design. Can't wait to have that on my shelves by the book. I have this super cute little mini paint easel with a paint set because the heroine in here paints. That's so precious. I love that little baby easel. Of course, have the book After the Storm. I'm so excited for this. This is, like I mentioned, my favorite book in the series. I love this entire series so much, but this book in particular is going to be one of my favorites of the year. It's my favorite read of November. Love it so much. Definitely get into it. Read this one. It's so good. The whole series I love, but this book, top tier. Love it. So got this little professional bookworm, a little tote bag with annotation items, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it has like annotation tabs, then some highlighters and pens as well. Love that. I can't wait to transfer all of my tabs from my Kindle read over to the physical read. I love doing that, especially with Laura's books. They are so good. I love all the moments in them. I have some paper items as well. I think like stickers and art prints. So let's check that out. So we have a Laura Pavlov postcard. It has all of her series as well. It's so cute. We have the Cottonwood Cove poster for the small town. So adorable. We have the print for the hardcover of the book, which love that like watercolor look. Then we have this little moment from the book as well. I love that so much. An art print. That's so cute. We have a welcome to Cottonwood Co. book bark with all of the books on the back. Love that. Have a Laura Pavlov sticker with her classic floral that she always has. Have a small town, a big heart, a Laura Pavlov sticker. Adorable. This is in my Cottonwood Cove era. Matches my fingernails as well because I'm also in my Cottonwood Cove era. <laughs> this one is a quote from the book. So it says, my raven had found her way home and I was going to keep her this time. That is from a cage about Presley. I love that. And then another quote as well. We'd always been explosive together. The way we loved, the way we fought, the way we existed. Love it. And oh my God, stop. These are so cute. So Laura has these. I have them for a couple of her other books as well. So she does the bookmarks for the people. So that's Cage and Presley together. But for this one, she included Gracie, his daughter. Like, look how cute she is. Her little cowboy boots. Ugh, stop it. I love it so much. It's so cute. Uh, I mentioned that whole swag box was for After the Storm by Laura Pavlov. Fifth book in her Cottonwood Cove series, a small town series. So, so good. Came with a signed book plate as well, but I'll probably just take this book and get Laura to sign it when I see her at the next signing. So yeah, there we go. All right, so those were all the items from my recent bookish mail haul. Hopefully you enjoyed. I like seeing items that aren't always books all the time, like just seeing swag and small businesses to support. All of those things I think is so fun. Like I mentioned, all really great gift ideas as well. If you're looking to treat yourself or give gifts to friends or family this year, I think they are perfect. Again, thank you so much to Glowcent for collabing with me and sending me that innovative try head of book light. I again have all the links in the description of this video for all the items I purchased and talked about. So hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you've gotten in some recent book mail that you love some small bookish businesses that you love let me know that as well can't wait to hear about it if you haven't done so yet make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i'll see you in my next one